Hello everybody, welcome back to Controlled Chaos, and welcome back to Undertale. Uh, last time we left off, we were at the waterfall, and we just ran away from Undyne. So, let's just get right into it. What is up, Sansy boy? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Sure. It's all red. Cause it's death. How dare you, Sans? You bamboozled me and I don't like it. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give I'll give you a full refund. Ha! I get it. Cause you didn't make me pay anything. Okay. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Okay, what's over here? Nothing. Oh, there's Burb. I want to go say hi to Burb, but what's up here first? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Baskin Robbins. I real I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. An ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Sure. Cards in the box, I'll take the card. Yes. I got a punch card. Let's check items right now. Okay, we're doing good on health items, I think. I'm saving some stuff for later, and if you know what I'm, like, the reason why I still have some items and I haven't used them yet, you know. Okay. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Okay, what's over here? Hey! I can spare you, suckers. What is over here? Oh, yeah. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Let's take it. You're carrying too much. Shoot! Okay. What's my stats right now? Defense 5, 10. Okay. Uh, my armor is an old 2-2, but what is... What can I drop? I think I can drop the punch card, because no one needs a punch card. I'll pick that up. Okay, now let's look at the item. Info. Valley shoes. Weapon at 7. Okay. These shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Okay, we can use the ballet shoes. Okay, we're good. Let's drop the tough glove, because that only gives five. Let's call some people. Let's call the pirates. Sometimes prizes are hidden under the grass. Treasures like mud or dirt. I'm gonna blow up my mic again, aren't I? Yep. That was a pain editing last time, because oh so much. Hello! Ugh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, don't worry. Worry not, dear human. Papyrus will never betray you. You said you were not wearing a dusty tutu. So of course I actually told her you were indeed wearing a dusty tutu. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a dusty tutu, she's sh she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Oh, poor Papyrus. He's stuck in the Can I unequip? I apparently can't unequip. Rip. 
Probably should have thrown away the old bandage. What is it now? I'll just spare you. Thank you for nothing. What's this? You're a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. What's this? The power to take... Oh, it's, um... More exposition. The power to take their souls. This is the power the, that the humans fear. Oh no, not the tentacles. Oh no. The anime eyes. Hey, there. Noticed you were here. <laughs> I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though, uh, the water is getting so shallow here. I, uh, have to sit down all the time, but... H hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium, just like all my friends did. Aww. The aquarium's full I anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? I know it's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see, see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. I'm gonna hum. I think that's what you do. You hum a jazz ballad. Shiren follows your melody. I... Yay. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Yay. The northern room hides a great treasure. This power had no counter. Indeed, a human could not take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but it has never happened, and now it never will. Oh. It's a statue. The structures at, the structures at its feet seems dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Yes. And then... Put the umbrella on the statue. Yes. I, I, I freaking love the little melody. Like, it keeps coming back. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Wait, 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 wait. What is it? Because I, cause I know up here... I'm going to show it first for you guys who don't know. Um, up here in this room is a piano, and you have to play the right melody. A haunting song echoes down the corridor once you play along. Only the first eight are fine. So you have to use that in order to open a secret entrance. And I forget exactly what it is, so I'm going to... I think it'll show up eventually. I think if... Yeah, there we go. Dot, up, right, dot, down, down, right. Dot, up, right, dot, down, down, right. Dot, up, right, dot, down, down, right. Do, 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 do. There's a piano here. Yes. Dot, up, right. Hey, there we go, I did it. 
It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? I will take it. You're carrying too many dogs. Info. Annoying dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. I apparently can't take it. I have too many dogs. Why are there too many dogs? You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. And then just leaves. Great. The artifact is gone. <laughs> dog residue. Info. Dog residue. Dog shape husk from the dog's what? Oh, it's so stupid. Yeah, I love it. It's so stupid. It's completely pointless. Take an umbrella, yes. Cause it's rainy, and I don't like being wet. Oh, it's the annoying voice. Yo, yeah, you got an umbrella? Awesome! I get to annoy you guys with this. Let's go! Surprising I haven't really cracked yet. Yet. Cause I know it's coming. Man, a knight is so cool! She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Haha. <laughs> That's not very nice. I am a human. Do not discriminate against the humans. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about the responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo! How cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. No, okay, you can't go through there. Strafe. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Heckin'. Wait, is there any way to get to the Echo Flower? Okay, so there's no way to get to the flower. Dang it. I guess that was just like, oh yeah. Reminder of a certain story. Was Twudge just making sure. I also love the pixel art. Return the umbrella. Yes, put back the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Huh. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Hey, That works somehow. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Again, the squashable face. You should be having multiple concussions about now. What's this one? The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Oh no, not the shadow. The shadow's never a good sign. Oh heck. Oh no, how did you just teleport? That's, that's unfair. That's the opposite of fair. Run away. Whoa. Nope. Don't you bamboozle me like this. No. I forget the route! Ah! Heh! Stop it! This is not nice! Fudge! Ah, no, 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 no!
run, 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 Oh no. Uh ma'am. There might have been a mistake. I didn't mean to go this way. If you could just let me on through, I will be on my way and we'll be good. Why don't you have a shower? Shower. Why don't you have a shadow? Fine then. You're jealous of my shadow, aren't you? I'm dare. I'm hurt. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Chaos, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Well, just leave me in suspense then, huh? You could have just at least followed up. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Same. Piles of garbage. The lava flow here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through. That's called littering. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be, but okay. Just garbage. Uh, it's a bike. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was not a honk. Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Garbage. It's a cooler. No brand. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of free stride space food bars. Take one, yes. You're carrying too much. Budge. You know what? Let's use the dog residue. Use the dog residue. You finished using it. An uneasy atmosphere fills the room. Stop it with the dog residue. Use the dog residue. Stop. Fine, I'll drop. Fine, okay, I won't take it. You forced my hand. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks over the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Nah. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Nani? Nani? Ha ha ha. Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost who lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said. Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul right out of your body. I personally like this rendition of, like, the dummy sort of naps the book theme better. Because, like, I feel like it has a better beat. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! No. Heck. Ow, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic! Mad dummy is looking nervous. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Mad dummy's mad dummy is hopping mad. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Get hit. It smells like clothing store. Wait, what's the dog residue? Use the dog residue. Use the dog residue. <laughs> You're finished using it. Not an easy atmosphere. It feels different. I'll stand in the window of a fancy department store. Come on. 
My dad me is getting caught in over the dialogue box. Then everything I want will be mine! Hey, at least one thing hit him. My dummy is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Mad Dummy is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. What was their name again? Are you, are you just angry because you're angry? I feel like that's just the case. I don't blame you, man. If I was a dummy that was torn in half, I'd feel the same. Whatever, whatever, whatever! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Haha. <laughs> Feeble, feeble, feeble! Hey guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're all fired! You're all being replaced! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha Now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! Mechanical words fill the room. Dummy bots, magic missile. Oh no. Hey, hey. Could you not? Thank you. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. Dummy bots, try again. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I sent them in the wrong direction. I'm gonna have to eat a nice cream. Is this as sweet as you? Dummy bots, you're awful. Mad Dummy is bossing around his bullets. Dummy Bot's final attack! Whoa, hey, 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 that's not even fair. Fudge! Wow! Ha! I only got hit a little bit. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me, I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever. Forever! Forever! Ah! <coughs> Ow. What? What the heck is this? Ah, uh, acid rain! Oh, forget it, I'm out of here! Slide whistle, of course. Every needed sound effect. Why, hello, no, thank you for interrupting. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. No, not the blue! Well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. No pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Naps the look the depressed ghost. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. I think I blew up the uh, mic even more. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. What? 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 It's a living. <laughs> what? It's a living. Nice. Wait, what's this? Oh yeah. It's locked. Do 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 do. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You face right through it. Oh, never mind. 
After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yes. This is also my tradition, if you did not know. Okay. okay. Follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. This is turned from naps, naps of Luke's voice to ASMR. We'll wait a little bit. I like this. It's pretty. It's so relaxing. Just staring at it. Well, that was nice. Thank you. You still need to recover after lying all- Oh wait, you still need to recover after all that lying down. The computer's internet browser is- Oh wait, I keep whispering even when it's just talking. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Yes. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it. This CD is labeled Gula Day Music. Play it, yes. Let's do Spook Wave. I like that. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Yeah, there's something where if you, uh, you could spook him out with this. What the heck is that music? I don't know, dude, but spooking me out. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary. You're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear. Ah! Ah! Forget it, this beat is too filthy. Whoosh, wait, don't leave me. This creepy music is my punishment for being creepy. Please stop, I'll never creep again. Wah. I really like that. I've actually never done that. I know that's a thing that if you play it and go outside and have them do it. Turn it off, yes. The CD stops moving. Go over here. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snail, so snail and Sam Boyle. I've been long overdue for a second house. The snail is getting tall. Awkward. I'm working now. I mean, welcome to the Luke family snail farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Oh, that was Toriel. No. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10 G to play. Okay, press C repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? Go, go. Come on! You can do it! I believe in you. No. Fine. Race end. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. I don't think it's possible to win 
Thunder Snail. North, Blue Cakers, East Hotland, question mark, question mark, question mark, Timmy Village. Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for you to sale. No, neat junk for sale. What are you looking for? Looks like a crab. Speed up in battle. Nah. I'll talk, though. About yourself. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Stunner history sure is easy when you live through so much of it yourself. Wahaha. Waluigi! <laughs> that emblem. Huh, you don't know what that is? What are they teaching you and ki you kids in school nowadays? Wahaha. That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wahaha. Great name, huh? It's, a it's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Oh, uh, he's probably the person that wrote all of the history books. The emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above us symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. What's the prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who is sitting in the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling it the winged circle of the angel of death, the harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from the mortal realm. My opinion when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wah! No. It's also like the double meaning of just the entire game. King Fluffy Buns, he's a friendly, have a go lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call him Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Well, that's a great story. I don't remember it. <laughs> but if I come back much later, I'm sure I'll have it remembered by then. About Undyne. Undyne, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through great determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. Might just save your hide. Wahaha! Be careful out there, kid. Oh. It's down here. Oh, it's the boat person, but the boat person not here. Wait, 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 wait. Is Timmy Village up ahead? I think it's up ahead. Hurt, beaten, fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no interest in their exits. There's no way for there's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. I mean, like, Mount Ebbett kinda has a little thing called an opening at the very top of- Special enemy- Special enemy Temmy comes here to defeat you! No, I don't want to hurt the Tem. The face is coming off. Feed Temmy Flakes. Temmy only wants Temmy Flakes. No, such hunger! Dies. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's actually named after one of the lead artists. Timmy vibrates and tits. Timmy. Flex. You flex at Timmy. No, muscles are not cute. Timmy, are you okay? No! Hi. No, stop sweating at me, you weirdo. Stop winking at me, it's weird. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Oh, yeah. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Zero XP and 60 gold. So yeah, Timmy yeah, Timmy Village is up ahead. I just kind of forget where, to be honest. Wait, 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 wait. It's No, stop. Oh. Most small is very normal. Flirt. You wiggle your hips suddenly. Nani? Okay, I'll stop it with that. That is not a very normal mold or whatever. Mold bug? 
Mills about in the corner. What do we do? Hug. You hug, mold bug. Gross line covers you, speed creeps. Heck. I got cornered. Okay. No, okay, that's not it. Check. One size greater than mold average. Oh, it's mold big, I got it. Ha, funny. Need some distance. Oh, unhug. You don't hug mold big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries, slime sounds. Shoot. Seems comfortable with your presence. Thank you. Okay, it's down here, yeah. Boom. Hi! Welcome to Temp Village! Oh, this is going- I need to drink some water before doing this. This is not gonna be pretty. Hi! I'm Tammy! And this is my friend Tammy! Hi! No. Hi! Hi! I'm Tammy! And this is my friend Tammy! Hi! I'm Tammy! Don't forget my friend! Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, you should check out Dem Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You should check Dem Shop. You feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, uh, 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 humans, such a cute. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. Statue of Tem, very famous. Very. Feeling of being watched. Tem heard human allergics to Tem. That okay. Tem understand. Tem, also allergic to Tem. No. Oh. <laughs> Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? <laughs> it symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my hyphy. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. <laughs> That's... Ooh. Hey, welcome to Tem Shop! It's Tem Shop. I <laughs> say hello. Hoi, I'm Timmy. Hoi, I'm Timmy. Us Tims have deep history. Go to Tim Shop. <laughs> I'm just gonna go as quickly as possible. Actually, Tim history. Rich history of Tim. <laughs> Dragon writing. I mean, Tim writing a sea dragon or something. Yeah, you have to go around this way because it, it's annoying and it wants you to go the other direction. But that's the way to Tim Village. Not you guys again. Washu, clean. You ask Washu to clean you. Hops around excitedly. Green means clean. No, 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 Whoa. Stop. Stop. Ow. Stop. 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 Okay. Shoot. No, I- okay, fine. I flex. Flexing contest. It's okay. Flex more. Okay, Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex harder. Stop it with the sweat, please. Thank you very much. Ah, c that wasn't even fair. That was just out of the corner. You flex. You flex yourself out of the room. I got it. Yay, I got 55 gold. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Actually.
Stop. Unhug. Could you not? Could you not? Could you not? No! <laughs> My first death. I wanted to go without a death. Cannot give up just yet, Kayla. Stay determined. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Let's just fast forward. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Just got through. That's all I wanted. Why is it gotta be dark? Is there like a thing somewhere? Could I just kind of hide in the grass? No? Fine. Behind you. Come on! Why did- why was the flower always like, hey, behind you? Was another person was like, hey, behind you, or... <sighs> oh, wait, this is- oh, shoot. Undyne's voice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hair, please. I don't know what Undyne's voice should be. Oh, shoot. Seven. Seven human souls. Without the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human. This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body. It, this might actually be my voice just slightly higher. Could you not with the spear? I'm dying! I'll help you fight! Ugh! Kid! Stop it! Oh heck, how'd I- You! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! <clears throat> Awkward! Wait! Who is she fighting? She's fighting me! That- that sword's kinda like bugging my cheek! It's not very comfortable! Could you please move it? Ow, my cheek! You went from stabbing it to pulling it! That's not very nice! Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Fine. Okay, there's nothing over here, I guess. Fine, we'll go up here. You're passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. You're passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, work looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Oh, I see how it can be taken both ways now. You! <laughs> Hello! Toad. <laughs> Confirm, Toad is actually Monster Kid. <laughs> Yo, I know I'm supposed not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're you're human, right? Haha, uh -huh. man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean. And I told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, uh, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Uh, yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Fine. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Guess I'll have to do it, huh? Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Yo, wait! Help! I tripped! How are you holding on? Do you, like, have your flexible nose shoved into, like, some crevice or something? <laughs> Guessing. Like, her teeth is just... I think it's a her. Yes, high voice, her. Like, 
just has the cape like just shoved in the rock face like eh yeah you can do it if you if you want to hurt my friend you're gonna have to go through me first Okay, <laughs> turned into the 20th century fox. She's gone! Yo, you really saved my skin! Guess being enemies was just a nice thought, huh? We'll just have to be friends instead! Man, I should really go home! I bet my parents are worried sick about me! Later, dude! Okay. Coming up is the Undyne fight. I wish there was a save, but there is not. No, there is no save, sadly. Okay, uh, we will do the Undyne fight and then we'll stop the video there. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, it's a customary to tell those who make it this far. I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Dot dot dot. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah! You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams! Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool, with their giant robots and flowery swords, woman. But to you, you're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again! And let's not forget your wimpy too good shoot goody two shoe stick! Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! You know it would be more valuable to everyone if you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands up between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> thank you for the save, thank you for the save. The wind is howling, you're filled with determination. Let's do this! Let's get ready to rumble! That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Oh no. On guard! Undyne attacks. No, I don't want to attack. Uh, challenge. Tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Oh no. As long as you're in green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Wow. Undyne points heroically toward the sky. Eh. Strike and poses. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, and nothing happened. Not bad. Then how about this? Oh no. And then draws her finger across her neck. Ooh. Scary. You told Undyne you don't want to fight, but nothing happened. For years we dreamed of a happy ending. It's like a rhythm game, I like it. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fist. She remember you tell Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her text become a little less extreme. And now Sunline is just within our reach! Undyne draws her finger across her neck. I won't- I won't let you snatch it away from us! It smells like sushi. Mia! Enough warming up! Oh, fudge. Ah! Wait, okay. Ha! You fool! <laughs> You never saw it coming! Ah, oh, heck! Don't touch me! Let go of me! You won't get away from me this time! 
Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. So, <laughs> a nine suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. I don't blame her. No, ever. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, yo. Thank you. Undyne's again. Killing you now won't make a difference. So stop being so damn resilient. Whoa. Hey, I haven't died yet. That's good. We go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you tricked me. I thought I was going forward. You've escaped from me the last time. Told I know you don't want to fight. Alfie's told me humans were determined. Oh, it's the back around. I see now what she meant by that. Whoa, you almost tricked me there. A night tower is threateningly. But I'm determined too. Determined to end this right now. I still haven't hit, gotten hit yet. Yes, there we go. A little less extreme. Right now! Whoa. Ah, I got hit once. Right now! Whoa. Ah. My fingers. My fingies, they hurt. Ha <laughs> ha. They hurt. Okay, we're gonna use a bicycle. Yeah, die already, you little brat! Whoa, 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 that was looking bad. Whoa, hey! Goodbye! Wait, what? Undy thinks of her friend. Oh, yeah, I've already read that. Go, 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 Ring! Hey, what's up? Oh! Ooh. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Hey, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, goodbye, Sans. Uh, yeah, go check on Sans. Hey, we made this fight. Yes, I got hit near the end. I was doing- I- Armor! So hot! But I can't give up! Oof. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Nah, let's just go check on- She looks dry. Yes, I will take a cup of water. Take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water. It's not what I was thinking, give her the water. Like, I mean, like, get put it into her mouth, but I guess pouring it on it works, apparently. Poor fish woman. <laughs> she doesn't even want to fight, she's just confused. Like, what happened? We're just going to pretend like nothing happened. Excuse me. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Okay, we're just about at the hour mark, and the date with Undyne is next. But that's going to take too long, and that's going to push this video probably to an hour and a, like an hour and 15 minutes, and that's probably too long, and I need to go eat anyway. So, thank you guys so much for watching this next episode of Undertale. We just fought Undyne, we got through the rest of Waterfall, and now we're on Hotland, where we're going to go back, uh, have a date with Undyne, and then we're going to meet Dr. Alphys for the first time. 
So I'm excited to keep playing this game. I still need to edit the video for tomorrow because I'm recording this on Sunday. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!